On the 5th of November this year, we're told that the National Identification Authority resumed its mass registration of instant issuance of the National ID card in Adenta. It would run from the 5th to the 24th of this month. But there have been a few issues here and there. I've been joined by the Assistant Commissioner of Immigration, Francis Palmdetti, who also speaks on behalf of the authority. Francis, good morning. Thank you very much good for morning. your time. Pleasure. Grateful indeed. Now, the process has started on the 5th. Yes. How has it gone so far? I'll say so far it's, it's gone well, mm. as expected. And um, residents of Adenta are coming in their numbers to register. Mm. And so we are satisfied with what we are seeing. Mm. We know uh, most residents in Adenta work and they leave the community to town to work and um, return in the evening. So we believe Saturday will be a very busy day for us. Mm. I mean, that's when most of them will be home. Mm. So we are expecting large numbers to turn up on Saturday. The, the 2015 figures um, drawn from the 2010 population and housing census of some 113,000, yes. is what we have in the Adenta municipality. Yes. Are we sure to cover all these people within the period? That's our expectation. And um, we, we have our operations team and, te te and biotech team have looked at the math okay. and think that mm. you, may, you, you may not cover a hundred percent, but we are looking at 80, 85 percent. That should be fine. The system runs on internet connectivity. Yes. Tell me about it. Uh, has it been given us any problems? We know what that internet connectivity issues are in this country. In fact, it's a reason why we chose Adenta. Okay. Because we, we the telcos have informed us that in Adenta, um, it's, the network situation there is quite difficult. Okay. I mean, basically because residents don't want to have mast in their community. <coughs> okay. So Adenta is a very perfect ground for us to start mm. to see how the network connectivity is, um, identify some of the issues quickly because we know mm -hmm. that there are areas in Accra that also have connectivity issues. Okay. So starting with Adenta for us is a very perfect test case and it would inform our decisions as we move along. Has it been smooth working from Adenta on a, on a pilot basis, if you ask? Um, it's been smooth. I, I'll say the first day, we had some issues on the first day and second day, but mm. the third day has been very smooth. The, the rains disturbed the few centers that were not in an enclosed environment. Okay. And on the first day, we had mm. power outage in Adenta, but we had generators, so we had to rely on the generator to power the system. Otherwise, it's been fine. The, the issue of publicity has come up strongly. Mm. We'll mm. talk about that, but if you're talking about generators. We're told mm. that some of the centers, mm. you had... Uh, generators, standby generators, mm -hmm. where there had been power outage, mm -hmm. but the generators were empty, no fuel. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, when you are conveying generators to a site, okay. you are not to fill the generators with fuel while you convey them. Okay. You must convey them empty okay. and fill them at the site. Right. It is safe to do that. Now, at the time we had sent the generators out there, okay. there was a team dedicated <laughs> to fill in the generator. So they were on their rounds. Okay. And then the light went off. So mm. they couldn't cover all the grounds at the time the light went off. So mm. that's why we, I said we suffered a hitch in that area. Because the team that what, had the what, fuel... What was the speed with which this backup team was supposed to provide? Because this was at the Adenta police station, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, centre, and also at the accountancy uh, school institute. institute centre. I mean, if you, you know that accountancy institute is... On the other side, Adenta Police Station is on the side. Um, you know, it's not a case of anybody can just go and pick fuel. Mm. We have to make sure we are accounting for everything we are doing. Right. And so the team at the time was just going around mm. with its own plan to make sure the teams have fuel in their generators. So at the time the light went off, mm. those areas you've mentioned, they hadn't gotten there. And that's why they suffered that challenge. What, what was the plan? I'm, I'm curious to know what the plan was. So you move, the, the uh, registration starts at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. If I get the generator there before 7 a.m., mm -hmm. at what time were you expecting to get the fuel to the location? Those are very detailed stuff you want me to churn out. But mm -hmm. I, I because know, the people are worried. If I, I, if I walk up to a place no, but that those the are, lights are those off, were, no, those there's were, a generator that's those not were, functional. Those were issues for the first day. <clears throat> I mean, as we speak, every generator has fuel. But I'm asking, and my fundamental question, mm -hmm. Mr. Palmdetti, is that what was the time frame? So I get the, 
the, the uh, generator set there by 6.30 a.m., mm -hmm. at what time was I to expect fuel in the case of eventuality? Because the lights can go off at any time. Yes. I, I, <clears throat> I do not have at the top of my head the information as to how long it will take them to move from one center to the other. They had their plan. Okay. I mean, there, there are 50 centers. Yes, 50 centers. For once, 47 police stations zoned mm. to 50 centers. Yes, yes. So they had to make 50 stops. Sure. Is correct? Sure. Now, w what was the, the duration? I'm curious to know. I do not have the details you of don't the, duration. Have the duration. Yes, so I can provide that. The, there but, was also the issue of publicity. Mm -hmm. And within your plan, your budget, mm -hmm. you yes. had publicity. Mm -hmm. Some say there's low publicity. Mm -hmm. They didn't know about it. For example, they didn't even know what the requirements of, of the authority are to, to register. How do you speak to that? Now, the, the strategy we adopted was to engage the community. Okay. So, excuse me, the Information Services Department mm -hmm was on the ground way in advance before we showed up. Mm -hmm. And they went around with mm -hmm. our team. So they start at 5 a.m. and end at 9 a.m. in the morning okay. and then start again at 4 p.m. and end at 8 p.m. in the night. And they did that continuously. So most of the residents of Adenta mm -hmm. knew about the exercise. Okay. We also did not want a situation where we would go full blast using all communication mediums. And you have people who are not residents in Adenta troop into Adenta because they also want to go and register. How do you hope to target the workers? Because it's a major concern. There are people who still work on Saturdays anyway. I mean, you have to, it's a very important exercise. Mm. I mean, to be given a national ID is extremely important. And I think that you could take a day from work and My boss get doesn't it. think I need a day to go and do this. He thinks I should do it over the weekend. The I, weekend I, is busy. We, 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 there are certain um, civic duties that every citizen is called upon once, a, once upon a time to mm. fulfill. Mm. So if I want to go and vote, for instance, mm. my boss cannot say I shouldn't go and vote. There's a civic duty. And this, the national ideas would fall in that category. And I think that... The, the Adenta <coughs> Municipal uh, Assembly Centre, for example, mm. had some of the, your officers mm. in an altercation, exchange of words. And this happened in no, the presence of no less a person than the Executive Secretary, Professor Ken Atifwa. Mm. What kind of training do you give your your ad hoc staff mm -hmm. to know that look they are working with people mm -hmm. these things will come up they need to maintain their cool rather than exchanging words you you would i mean you know mm -hmm. that with this with customer service you 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 don't stop training you keep at it you keep but at if it. on the first day they lose their cool no. then we have a problem <laughs> that's a, that's an that's an isolated case actually because for all the centers i have been to it's been calm I mean, I've, I've spoken to some of those who have come to register, and the impression was that our people have been very professional. What, what has happened to those people? Have you done a residual training for them? Those who lost their cool exchanging words in the presence of the executive secretary? They have, they have um, a supervisor on site, okay. is a registration officer. Okay. And some of the duties of the registration officer is to ensure that his staff or those working under him mm -hmm. act professionally and um, are quite... Um, customer friendly. I'm sure he'll do the, that pep talk to make sure that that's But you are not again. aware if any action also have been taken against them or you know any residual training has happened? You know when issues like this happen and um, we do not have all the facts. Okay. I mean you, you're just saying that this happened. It's been, it's been three days. This you don't happened have the in the facts. press. No, you, I'm saying that as you sit here you're asking me questions. What happened on the ground? You said it happened in the, in the presence of the executive secretary. That's not been denied either. No. So, as before I came to the studio, I did not know I have to bring a brief on that particular incident. I would have crossed. But, but that's important. It's an important subject. Yeah, if this is where you're starting mm -hmm. off the pilot, we will go to places that have even more uh, emotional people, people who will be hysterical. Yes, yes. They, they is that the indication that your ad hoc staff are not ready to accommodate some of these things? I said I went to quite a number of centers yesterday, the okay. day before, and I have pictures to show you. Okay. It's been very orderly, and we speak to those who are seated to find okay. out what's going on. Mm. And the comments we've received is that our guys are quite professional mm. and they're doing a good job. So I'm saying that on, on, on a very wide scale, mm. these officials are behaving professionally. Mm. We, we, we do not expect that any such incident will occur in the future. How much are you paying one ad hoc uh, staff? It depends on what they are doing. Okay. If they're a supervisor, for example? Um, the supervisor takes, I think, 78 
Ghana cities a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and the others? Some take forty eight Ghana cities a day. Okay. Yeah, it's in, in that range. So how do we ensure that? Of course, this is clearly beyond the the minimum wage. Mm. How do we ensure that we're you getting say clearly a day? Mm -hmm. It's not beyond the, the minimum wage. Mm. Is about a little less than ten Ghana cities a I'm day. I'm saying this is clearly beyond beyond okay the minimum <laughs> okay. wage. So okay. we're paying them more. Yes. How do we draw value for money from them mm -hmm. if they are losing their cool? Uh, at the Sunbeam School, for example, the headmistress says they had a lackadaisical attitude to setting up a program that was supposed to start at 7, started at 10 a.m., and they didn't seem to care. They looked like the monarchs of all they surveyed. Uh, it, 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 How do we draw value for money from them? Because it's our money. Yes. The, the, the comments by the Sunbeam um, uh, headmistress. Proprietress, yeah. Or proprietress. Um, it's unfortunate because when, you, when we got there, we had some issues with the setting up okay. in her place. Okay. So I, 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 I think it would not be fair for her to say they were lackadaisical and all that. We've resolved... Said they were sluggish. We've, we've resolved those matters. Okay. And I think that we should move forward. As we speak, registration is going on smoothly on all the, at all the centers. In, in that school, Sunbeam School, for example, mm -hmm. They run the school on a solar system. Yes. And your generator at that time didn't have backup fuel. Yes. Were you hoping to tap into their, their uh, what do you call it, solar system? You hadn't done your recce to know that they can't support your machines to boot? I, I, I think that um, quite a number of the centers we had engaged where they don't have a problem with us using their power whilst we were there. Okay. But I'm sure maybe they underestimated the volume of equipment we're bringing and that's what raised concerns mm -hmm. but that is being resolved because they, they, they thought it was a, a typical ec situation where it, the ec actually didn't take much power mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it wasn't such a big deal but we have high um, performance printers and then we have mrw machines okay. it's all gadgets mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. they were a bit concern that th this would take a lot more power okay and that matter has been resolved at the operational level the digital addressing system is also a requirement yes. if you don't have internet you can't generate the digital addressing system yes. you don't have a smartphone you are blind to the world mm -hmm. now a lawyer is taking you to court mm -hmm. on, on this particular matter saying mm -hmm. you can't make it a requirement mm -hmm. uh, do you want to respond to it the matter is in court I'm not asking you to re respond to the details mm -hmm. but people are complaining that look they didn't know and they can't generate it what do they do when they get to a place where there's no internet and they have to generate a digital address? The Ghana Post is um, in the forefront of ensuring that our citizens have digital addresses. And I know that they've been in Adenta for some weeks before mm -hmm. we got in there. And they have officials who are going around helping people generate their addresses. I also recall last year when they launched, okay. they urged people like you mm. who have the app on your phone right. to help and support those mm. who do not or cannot download their, their digital addresses. Mm. It was more of a call to us to be um, to engage in some civic duty mm. to help our competitors because we all know the benefits of having addresses okay. everywhere mm. will go a long way to help our economic development. Okay. So they have done some um, education. They, I'm aware they've imported some offline devices. Okay. I hear they've worked on the app and mm. there's this offline mode okay. you can go into. That you can use. Okay. So you wouldn't have to rely on the internet. Mm. So, so I, I know things are being done to okay. ensure that people have the internet. Now That's with grateful. respect to the matter in court, like oh. you said, w w all I can say mm. is that there's nothing we are doing today okay. which is not lawful or it's not or it's variance to our laws. Right. We are following our laws strictly. Mm. And whatever the court determines, we would abide by it. Yeah, I thank you very much. The card will last for 10 years. Yes. That's it. Yes. It will be for ECOWAS and all of that. Absolutely. Now, yesterday we had a complaint from somebody who said, uh, somebody made a mistake. One of the uh, registrants said the officials made a mistake. Mm. And she complained that the person said, oh, and yes, she, don't worry, it won't <laughs> affect you. <laughs> should, should, they, should she be worried? What mistake was that? Because the card is, I think it was an alphabet in the name that was, and then the person said, oh, yes, she, <laughs> no. at Sunbeam School, and no. it says, oh, and yes, she. So, live so she had the card. You live in Sunbeam? No, I, I, I did my research. <laughs> okay. I did my research very well. I, I, when there's an error mm. on the face of the card, or when there's 
um, a change in circumstance, the law makes provision for you to update your records. Okay. In the same vein, such uh, corrections can be made. Okay. I don't live in Sambim. I just <laughs> did my research very well before meeting <laughs> because I know you are very well informed. But thank you very much. ACI, Pleasure. Assistant Commissioner of uh, Immigrations, Francis Palmdetti, speaks on behalf of the National Identification Authority.